Hey guys, Anthony here. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to remove background noise in Audacity. In this video, I will share some tips post background noise removal. So once I remove the background noise from the audio, I also go through the audio track to check for any unwanted sounds. For example, clicks, breaths, ooh, ah sounds, etc. I then use the silence audio tool to remove the sounds from the audio track. And this really helps clean up the audio. I also apply a couple of audio effects to the audio track. The compressor effect reduces the dynamic range of the audio, which is the difference between the loudest and the softest part in an audio recording. In simple terms, it evens out the volume of the audio. I also use two other effects, normalize and amplify. The normalize effect sets the peak amplitude that is increases or decreases audio so the loudest point is at a certain level. The amplify effect changes the overall volume of the selected audio tracks. Ok, so now let me show you how to do this. So this is the same audio I used in the previous video tutorial which had a hum in the background and it has been removed. But you will notice at the beginning of the audio, right here, there are some unwanted sounds. You can highlight that specific area, like so, and then click the play button. And these are indeed unwanted sounds. So what I do is I use the silence audio button right here. And just watch this area as I click this button. As you can see, those sounds have now been removed. And I find this tool very helpful to clean up any audio. The next thing I do is apply the compressor effect, which evens out the volume of the audio. So what I generally do is I always use Control A to highlight the whole track. And then I go to the Effect tab and then choose Compressor. I'll leave all these settings as default and then click OK. Next what I do is I go again to the Effect tab and then choose Normalize. The Normalize effect sets the peak amplitude and again I leave all these settings as default and then just click OK. Now once I've applied these effects I notice that the audio volume decreases a lot. So what I do as a final step is apply the amplify effect to increase the overall volume. Again, it, you'll find that in the effect tab and amplify. Now you can amplify this. You can see here it by default it has chosen one decibel. And if I go too high, you will see that this OK button just grays out. Alternatively, what you can do is you can check this button right here for allow clipping. And what I do is ideally it's best to amplify in increments between 2 to 5 decibels. So if the audio volume is too low, then I'll start off with 5 decibels. So I'll check this box here and then I'll go up to say 5 decibels. And then basically I'll check to see how loud the audio has changed. And if I need to do it again, I will do it again for about 2 to 3 decibels. So before I apply this effect, I generally do the preview. So once you click the preview button, it will basically just uh, play a small portion of the audio. And once I'm happy with that, I'll just click the OK button. And as you can see, the waveform has changed. So what I will do is I will play the audio once again to see the volume of the audio. In most cases, I do not have to go more than two times. So the first time I'll probably go with, you know, five decibels. And the second time I'll probably go with either two or three decibels. So in this case, I would go again, effect, amplify. And this time I would just take it up, you know, two decibels.
and then I'll do a preview and then I'll click OK. And as you can see, it has changed the waveform. And if you play the audio, once you've done this, you will notice that the volume has increased. And that's pretty much it. Finally, I export the audio as an MP3. A couple of other effects to explore are equalization, which basically helps bass boost and treble boost, and the limiter effect to control the peak threshold and volume. Well, hope you found this tutorial useful. Look for more Audacity tutorials on my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.